My first ever encounter with Otsuka RuneScape was when Cell's Mauritania Locked and Talman series popped into my feed for the first time ever. These two incredibly well-made series were the inspiration by my first month of membership and play a game filled to the brim with interesting lore, long grinds, and mechanics unheard of outside of Otsuka RuneScape. It was also during my adventure through Gilnor that I discovered other series on YouTube. Agile Tom's Cox Log, ZZ's Boss Log, Josh's Gaming's and No Chung Log, and Verve's current Castle Chung Log, only just a few series I've watched and really enjoyed. And because of my almost obsession like interest in restricted accounts, and even though I'm not close to any of their skill level, understanding the game, or determination, I've always wanted to follow in the footsteps, which comes in my first ever series on this channel, Slayer Loft. The rules of this challenge are simple. The first and most important rule is that I can only kill monsters that are part of my current Slayer task. Which means I'm very limited on what I can kill, and most importantly, what I can get. And that leads us to our second and just as important rule. If there is an item or skill requirement I can't get a for request from only Slayer Drops, exceptions can be made. But only if either the quest locks out Slayer Monsters, Slayer Masters, or large amounts of content for me. For instance, Morning Ends Part 2 locks Dark Beasts, which means Morning and Part 1, Roving O's, and Underground Pass, and all their prerequisites will be allowed for me as well. Lost City, which locks Chalador, will also be allowed for me, even though I cannot get some of the items required there. The other minor rules are, well, minor. I'll be an Iron Man during the challenge, which means I can't trade or get items from other players. I will be keeping the initial bucket, pot, and bread since I can't get those from Slayer Monsters, and I will be allowing myself to buy a house and saw, since both can't be obviously acquired through Slayer, and construction will be immensely helpful in the future. NPC stores will be banned with the obvious exception of Slayer Masters, since their stores contain items that I need to beat up Slayer Monsters. Now, finally, the goal of this challenge is going to be to beat the Inferno on a Slayer task. That means I need to not only beat the Inferno once and get an Inferno cape, but I have to do it twice, get a Slayer task done at the same time, and get another cape. Will it be even possible on the first try? Not even I know, but hey, that's the fun of these kinds of challenges, aren't they? After completing Tutorial Island and setting my account as a hardcore Iron Man to see how long I lost as a joke, I immediately dropped everything except for a few items that I originally thought I couldn't get but were massively important for an account, which were a bucket, a pot, and bread. Turns out I didn't need to do this, but it doesn't change anything since I could pick those same items off the floor, which I realized later. Besides that, I got my first month of membership and ran straight towards Borthorp, where the first Slayer Master, Turiel, resided in. After a bit of dialogue with Turiel, I got my first ever Slayer task, which turned out to be Goblins. And after I got the enchanted gem from Turiel, I went and used my home teleport back to Lumbridge, where I began to get to work. Unfortunately, goblins don't drop much. My best gear I can get from the goblins at Lumbridge are the Bronze Spear and Bronze Square Shield, some of the worst gear in the game, but I can't be too picky. They also drop Earth, Water, and Body Runes, which the latter can come in handy for reanimation spells. They can also drop Bronze Boats, but with no crossbows currently available to me, they're useless ammunition, at least for now. And with that final hit, that is my first ever kill on this count for bones and five coins. Talking about drops, the two drops I want the most, the beginner easy clue scrolls, are currently the home of the best combat items I can get. If I can complete them and get the caskets, which are fair games as they originate from drops from monsters, I can get massive upgrades up to black armor and weaponry, a huge upgrade from my earliest melee armor, as well as up to a willow shortbow with the basic leather armor for my best and range training gear until I can hit level 20. However, most importantly I have a chance to getting all the elemental staffs, which grant infinite runes for the respective single elemental type. The one I want the most is air, but all are good due to their auto casting and magic attack bonus. Not to mention, the caskets can give you a lot of runes for magic training, which include even law and nature runes, both of which are going to be extremely scarce until very much later on. Something I completely forgot is that while NPC shops are banned, there's nothing saying about claiming free stuff from the tutors. Now, I accidentally grabbed the ranged train gear instead of the free magic runes, but that's fine, since now I can save spot goblins without worrying about my HP anymore, and I can get those runes later in 30 minutes. First level on this count, level 2 range. Oh, there's our first ever upgrade on this series, a bronze square shield. And that's level 2 strength, level 3 range, and level 4 combat. Oh, hey, it's the first ever random event on this count. Drunken Dwarf, not the worst random event but certainly not the best won't complain for some free food though
After getting level 4 range from using up all my training arrows, I'm now using this bronze spear that Goblin had dropped me earlier. Hopefully it can get the kills done faster than the training sword I was using previously. And that is prayer level 2. And my next task is monkeys. Not the greatest task, but I think it's an easy one. I'm going to have to do some research on this. After a bit of research, I figured out that the best way to kill monkeys is to go to Karamja and kill the monkeys at the base of the volcano there. Which, thankfully, I can get to easily by using this charter ship at Port Serum to get over there for only 30 coins. Thankfully, really close by to the ports is also the monkey spawn. So yeah, this will be my home until I finish this slur task. I'll see you guys then. Okay, I accidentally missed the levels, but that was level 11 hit points, and that was combat level 5. Defense level 2. Accidentally got an attack level while trying to get away from the snake. Let's go. And that is another strength level, strength level 3. First near death experience on the account. Oop, I just missed it, but that is Slayer level 3. I think I just missed it, but there's level 3 prayer. That was a defense level down there, and I almost died again. 4 strength and combat level 6. Oh, sweet. I think that was another attack level. Oh, and I'm getting attacked by a snake. That's just great. So, a solution to, like, getting back from Karamja without having to pay is uh, actually really simple. I could just do the home teleport to Lumbridge. So I'll see you guys there. While I'm at Lumbridge, I might as well grab my free magic. Thank you very much. Hopefully, like, cows or something. Not having food is really annoying. Hmm. Rats? Yeah, rat tasks are actually not that bad. Especially because I need rat meat for the druidic quest. The druidic ritual quest. And I can cook these for food. So, yeah, overall, actually a pretty good quest overall. I just banged one raw rat meat here, so I don't actually cook it for the Druidic Ritual quest. So that's there for safekeeping. And here we are at a range, and this is what's going to change the series. Not forever, but for now. Because this is now my first ever, actually, ooh, level 2 cooking. I did not expect that. Um, anyway... Yeah, this is my first ever actual meat I can eat on this account, uh, besides this one. Two hit points, which actually this might be more, but since I only have two, 9 HP right now of 11. But yeah, that is my best food for now. That is Slayer level 4, and only one, Oh, that's a beginner clue scroll. I didn't notice that. Um, Yeah, that is level 4 now. I think we only need one more. Yes, one more for crawling hands, and then we'll be... Off to there, maybe, if Toriel can... Oh, that's also defense level 4. And total level 50. So, what is this beginner scroll? Can I... Oh, it's a real... I want to drop this. That was level 12 hit points. Level 5 strength. And that's level 7 combat. On our way to Vanica. That is level 3 cooking, but not before I burnt 3 meats in a row. And that is level 4 cooking, too. Oh, that was really fast. Also, if you're wondering why this one accidentally turned into meat, burnt meat... That's because I pressed the uh, 1 by accident. And I just burned... Oh, uh, I just burned every... I and that was the last rat to kill. Uh, now it's time to head back to Turio and get a new task. Okay, my fourth task about to come in. Let's hopefully get this one. Oh. Okay, I actually stopped by here to get my free runes when that actually reminded me to get something else too here. You see... If I head over to the melee combat tutor over here, I can actually get something I've been meaning to get for a while now, and that is actually the training sword. See, the spear is okay, they're both the same speed, but now I can wear a shield so I don't actually die to one hit. After that very necessary upgrade, we're now here at the stronghold of security, so we can kill some minotaurs. I think this is actually the only place you can kill minotaurs, and these guys have a actually pretty interesting drop table too. They can drop pure essence, which I am going to need for Priest and Peril, so definitely a good task, especially for now. First level of the grind, magic level 2. And that is level 3 magic. I've been actually using this wolves to safe spot them and use a confuse. Um, me using confuse here though is actually a detriment, which you'll see later on. That was level 4 magic here. Pretty much a lot down. Oh, we just unlocked Water Strike, level 5. Perfect, okay. Oh, and level 5 Slayer, nice. Oh, and Bronze Arrows too. Yeah, this will be perfect for range training later. Once I get a Longbow, of course. So we're gonna stick back here. What's the beginner? Oh, I can definitely do this. I'm gonna have to pay the toll though, which kind of sucks. But I guess, okay, for now, let's try doing this beginner clue scroll. For now, until I can think of a way to do this properly.
one step casket no it's another clue actually never mind that's actually a pretty good clue step i can do that really easily before anyone says anything i was thinking about buying kebabs from karim after i saw someone drop a bunch of uh kebabs and i actually did buy some but after actually taking a moment to think things through i decided no i'm not gonna buy kebabs from him. Because even though while he does open up a chat box instead of an interface and he doesn't have a trade option, I'm still going to count as a, as a store, which sucks, but if you're going to start a challenge run, you better stick to the rules you yourself made. After I started Restless Ghost and getting my free runes from the Magic Tutor, I happened to run into the Pillory Guard, which happens to mark my first ever random event on this account. After completing him, I got 80 free coins, which isn't really much, but for now, is actually a really nice boon. Also, that's the first ammo on the, the Iron Man. Alright, and now I'm gonna see if I can pick up a spade from somewhere. So, a neat little discovery I found about Barbarian Village is that, besides this bronze pickaxe spawn, there's actually cooked meat spawns here too, which is actually a legitimately good food for me right now, especially considering I don't have any other food sources as reliant as this one. Here I can just pick up the cooked meat and maybe a beer or two, which might come in handy. But for now, as like in this clip, I'll be hopping worlds until I get a couple few inventories full of cooked meat. I'll see you guys then. And that's the first inventory done. Second inventory done. Just gonna grab a shovel while I'm here. Let's see if we can get the casket and... It is a casket. Nice. Let's see what we get out of it. Elemental staff, please... Okay, it's not actually that horrible. The law runes are pretty nice, and the cabbages are free food, I guess. Not bad, but could be better. Nearly forgot to grab the skull while I'm here. Alright, so, once we shove the skull back into the coffin... We should... Yep, get the cutscene, and we're done with this. Nice, that's enough to get us to level 10, or level 11. Dang. Level 8 combat now. Okay, I just arrived back at the Minotaur, so let's see if I can get my safe spot set up, and then we'll start training magic. Level 6 magic. Ooh, tin ore. That's what I need for bronze. Nice. I need to get here, because this place is pretty- Oh, level 7 for magic. Oh, I can now enchant sapphire jewelry. That's real- oh, That's actually pretty nice. Oh. Level 6 strength. That, I think, was our final kill. Now we just need one more task and then we'll start receiving points. Now for my fifth task ever. Rats? Sure. It's not the most grandier task of our fifth ever task on this account, but hey, it gives free food, free cooking XP, and it's really close by and it's easy, so I'll definitely take it. Uh, that was level 7 strength and that was a total level 75. I'm getting up there now. So we just got a, a maze random, which... This could be really huge for the account. Only 41% of the reward, but they're not than nothing, I suppose. Um Chaos Runes and Feather are interesting. The Chaos Runes could come in handy later. Feathers as well. If I ever wanted to do fletching. Great news, that is level 8 strength. Just a couple more until hopefully level 10 combat. Well, we got a beginner clue scroll, but I'm going to drop this because it's not a Raldo one. Because honestly, these clues just could... It's just too much time, and I'm probably going to get one anywhere from this grind. So, that's a drop. That is level 9 strength. Level 5 cooking, and that is why I do not like cooking at early levels. God, that's so much burnt meat there. Oh, uh, that all could have been 3 HP each. Alright, this is my 6th test, and now it is dwarves. Oh, something I haven't really thought of is that these guys actually have a decent chance of dropping chaos runes. That was level 10 strength I missed, and level 10 combat. Oh, I just missed a big level, but... I just got level 7 Slayer, which means I can start killing, um, cave bugs, I believe. No, I just died to a dwarf because I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's the first death, but 
I think I survived pretty long considering my skill level. <laughs> Time to get my slightly less cool Iron Man armor. Which kind of sucks, but it's the same stats, so I can't really complain except for Fast Escape. And that's level 9 magic, and that is another damage racket since I now unlock Earth Strike. So I just grabbed a crap ton of cooked meat. I want to see how far this will take me in terms of kills. I just missed level 11 strengths, but soon, in just a couple strength levels, we'll be getting a max hit. Wait, really? I just got a loop half of key from a rigged Kerpentine event. Wow, are these really rare? Yeah, that is a 1 out of 150 chance. Level 12 prayer, as I'm about to grab my free runes from the magic tutor. I just got an iron bar from a dwarf, which... Oh my god, I had completely forgotten about. So, I could also get bronze bars and iron ore from here, which would actually start my smithing grind a lot sooner than I was thinking. This time I caught it, level 12 strength, and a bronze bar too, and combat level 11, nice. That is 7 attack, and level 12 combat, and level 8 slayer. Oh, I just hit level 15 hit points, oops, completely missed that. <laughs> Alright, that's my slayer task done, and if you're wondering why my sword is gone, well, I might have died again and forgot to grab my training sword, but I did get my free 30 minute rune, so there is that. And my next task is cows. Oh, that is that is actually a very interesting thing, because see here, with the leather, with the I can tan my leather at, at Alcred and start my early crafting training. Which is probably my best source for range gear, at least until I can get into the more higher tier of Slayer. Just missed it, but that was level 10 magic. Wow, another magic level already. Level 11 magic, and in just, I believe, 2 more magic and I'll unlock Fire Strike, which will be my max hit damage for any strike spells for the foreseeable future. Alright, that was the very last cow kill of this task. Now, the only problem is, is that I ran out of uh, runes literally just as the cow was about to die. It was like 3 or 4 HP and I just punched him to death. That was not a pleasant experience, but hey, we got it done. I'm gonna... Okay, it is time for my 8th task. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's Minotaurs again. Hopefully it won't be as bad as last time with melee. Because honestly, even with like the iron armor, I was getting slapped around. Decided to stop by the chest for a free 2k. I actually died on the way here. And the only reason why I managed to get even here is because uh, I got really lucky. But hey, now I'm up 5k. Okay, I just got a bunch of meat and this is probably going to be my last task of the night. That was level 9 attack and level 13 combat. Nice. I'm going to switch over to defense since it's really close to uh, another level. And yeah, that's also level 5 defense. I can now wear steel armor. Nice. Alright, I actually missed the level, but I was 16 hit points. I think the... Is this multi? Because I just got randomly attacked. Oh, 10 attack. Nice. That's actually pretty huge. Oh, this is multi-combat. Uh-oh. Oh, so I just realized I just got my first uh, magic weapon, technically, with this bronze dagger, it gives me plus one, so... <laughs> Yay, that's my best in slot magic weapon right now. Oh, that's 11, uh, attack level 11, and it dropped me a cooked meat too, nice. And, oh, looks like that was my final count for the slayer task. Now I just got 10 slayer, nice. Now I can kill a kill, uh, cave course now. Goblins? Bats. That's actually pretty interesting. Before I did anything for my bath task, I decided to get a refuel on my food. Especially since I basically used every single one on the Minotaur task beforehand. So enjoy this short clip. Okay, so originally I was going to do Priest and Peril to get access to Mauritania. And since the Mauritania Slayer Tower is right next to the entrance and has bat spawns, that was my first goal. But now I realize that there's actually a bat spawn on the way to Priest and Peril. So I'm going to be... Killing bats until I can get this task done. Whoops, I just missed it because this bat attacked me, but that is level 6 defense. I just missed it again, but that was level 7 defense. That is 13 prayer, and I believe that unlocks a... Yeah, superhuman strength, which is actually pretty nice. So that unlocks this one, which I'm going to put over there and hide. 
Nice. So now we just need improved reflexes, which comes in three levels. And again, I missed it. That was level eight defense. This time, so I don't miss it. That is level nine defense and level 15 combat. Oh, crap. I missed a really big level, but I was level 10 defense. There we go. And that is level 11 Slayer. Okay, I just made an actually pretty important discovery in that there's actually a weapon upgrade I could have gone all this time. And that is an item spawn right next to the ruins of, I believe this is Sir uh, Bigger Seracnus. The Boneyard actually has a spawn of an Iron Scimitar, which is a huge and massive upgrade over the Train Sword, which is where I'm heading to get it right now. Hopefully I don't actually trigger this ant. 101, that is scary. Yes, there's the Iron Scimitar right there. I'm gonna grab this, and I'm actually gonna die to these skeletons, since it'll be just way faster. For me just to die to these guys and respawn over back in Lumbridge. Upgrade achieved, the Iron Scimitar, plus 9 melee strength, and I'm at it. A lot of these skeletons are going to dip there, go smack me kill me too i'm gonna start burying these bones while i die can i get nope i cannot get one last big bone yep that is an upgrade right there though the iron scimitar just what is going on i am actually so confused um what if i turn this off all right so i figured out why toriel was missing the corner master reminder actually hides non corner tat or masters so that you can only get corner tasks and not accidentally a different slur master I have a big moment here. Thank you, Train Sword, for literally being the only weapon I could use until now uh, through nine tasks. And I'm, I'm actually going to be kind of sad at destroying this, but you served me well. But we, now we have your big, badder, and even stronger version of you. All right, let's test this new baby out. I'm actually pretty excited because the Iron Scimitar. It actually gives me like three strength bonus, I think, over the train sword. So I only need two more strength levels to get have a max hit of three. Oh my god. Okay, uh, besides the hit points level I just got, I actually I can hit threes. I didn't realize that. I just missed it, but I just got 13 strength and 16 combat. Well, I just ended my slur task, so now it's time to get my 11th task from Toriel. We actually got a lot of loot, a lot of right skull halves, and I got a copper ore again too if i get one more tin ore that's another bronze bar for my smithing training so let's see what i get goblins please <sighs> scorpions that is a very interesting task so after looking through the wiki for a little bit i figured my best way to actually kill these scorpions is by using magic which is perfect now that i have my my magic tutor claims to be actually free again so i'll quickly grab my magic supplies and runes over there and we'll start killing some scorpions Oh, I nearly missed it, but I just got uh, 13 magic, which means I can cast Fire Strike, and that moves me up a damage bracket, too. <music> 14 magic, and I believe that does, yeah, that unlocks Jade enchantments, I think, which is actually pretty nice for teleports, like Necklace of Passages. Just missed it, but that was 12 Slayer. 15 magic and that's bones and bananas which might actually come in useful okay i just ran out of magic so now i'm actually gonna use melee for the rest of no it's actually not melee ranged after uh i bring out my gear because i want to use the training arrows i got yesterday on the scorpions 18 hit points level 5 range and i can now wield oak bows and deal throwing weapons okay that's all the training arrows i had and used now time to switch over to melee Right now I'm cooking the rest of the beef I got from the cow task, and I left one for Druidic Ritual, so I won't make that mistake again, and that's level 6 cooking. I can now make fruit blasts at the gnomes, but I can't do that, so instead we're just gonna keep cooking the meat here. Cooking level 7, that was level 8 cooking, and that was all the meat I cooked, alright. Alright, this is all the meat I got left, hopefully this should be enough to finish up my task, if it isn't, well, it's time to go back to Barbarian Village then. Almost missed it, but this is going to be level 15 strength. What the heck? Huh? Okay, so I was <laughs> I was killing scorpions, right? This is a scorpion I was killing earlier. And I noticed that there was rune drops here? H huh? <laughs> I, I didn't even know this was here. I'm, oh, hold up. Let me take a look at the wiki. Well, that was a drop I wasn't expecting. That's an soul scorpion head, which I believe is a 1 out of 25. I'll be keeping that if I ever go to Arceus. About to get my next strength level any second here. Here we go. 16 strength and 17 combat. Just three more to go until Maskana. I'm also picking up these runes whenever they respawn. And that is Slayer level 13.
just two more levels until banshees are unlocked and that is level 17 attack or not attack strength i don't know what i was thinking killing a scorpion with no food but i got an over a hundred water runes i'm gonna leave and then and go back to barbaric village to pick up our inventory food after i bank the runes of course strength level 18 and a total level 125 we're slowly making our way to 20 combat. Oh, I missed it, but level 19 hit points and level 18 combat. Shoot, I didn't realize uh, I already killed my last scorpion. I hope I got my hit points to combat level on that scorpion. Uh, looks like I didn't kill it, but dang, that kind of sucks. But hey, got our 11th task done. Now it's time for our 12th one. Okay, my 12th task, please be goblins. Bats, again. All right. It's, it's an annoying task, but it could be worse. It could definitely be worse. There we go, level 19 strength. Just one more hit, please. There you go. A Slayer level, level 14. Just one more to go into Banshees. And if we bury most of these bones here, I think we only need seven, but I wanted to get the same level in the same clip. That is level 14 prayer. Oh, I just missed it, but huge level. That is level 20. I'll be now switching over to attack now. And with this, that's our 12th task done. Now let's get back to Turiel and see what task we'll get next. Alright, this is task number 13. And we get dogs. Well, I was going to go to Alcared to kill some jackals over there. But hey, Evil Bob event. wonder which one it is. Hopefully it's the island one. So magic or fishing levels wouldn't be too bad. Oh, it's this one. It gives free herbs, so definitely not complaining. Oh, that's the random event completed. Let's see what we get. I think it's grimy snapdragons, but I'm not 100% sure. And it is... Oh wait, no, this is... Oh, a lamp! Oh, that's very interesting. I think I'm actually in a lamp smithing, yes. Just made a pit stop at Karamja over here so we can get the rope. The literal only, the, this is the only good spot to get a rope currently. Okay, it's embarrassing to admit, but this rope took me like three minutes to find. Glad I got that over with. Now time to head back to Lumbridge. So, you all might be wondering why I'm getting a rope here. And that's because ropes are actually allowed. Well, I could technically get them from Monaco Monkeys. Monaco Monkeys are locked behind the Monkey Madness 2. Which is also locked behind Watchtower, which were there anyway. So, as my rule state, I won't be making an exception since this one item locks behind two of the most major quest lines in the game. Both Waterfall, aka the start of the Elven quest series, and Monkey Madness series as well. Okay, I'm here and, uh, surprisingly enough, there is the Earth Runes, but what's otherwise shield here, which I think, but also... <laughs> Um, it doesn't give me a negative magic bo defense bo or attack bonus, so and so, so I might actually keep that for the magic grind. However, that's gonna be extra. So I'm definitely gonna drop it off at a bank before I start going to uh, the waterfall. And that is the last earth rune I need for the quest. Now let's start heading towards over to the waterfall. Backstory unfolds, and let's start the quest. Just finished gearing up. Let's head on over. It is time to start the main starting quest for any account, Warful. Yes, 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 level 25, yes. How can I help? Sun Hoden, blah, blah, small raft, here we go. So when I did this for the first time, I messed up the order, and <laughs> that was a mistake. I really don't want to do it again, so this time, I'm hopefully going to make sure that I don't mess up this time. But knowing me, I'll probably mess up anyway, but hey, at least it'll be content. Okay, so we just grabbed the book, and we're actually going to make a pit stop over by uh, Trinum Village, so we can start the quest over there too. Since it's allowed, since, you know, it's a uh, part of the Monkey Madness quest, and I'm definitely not going to uh, waste that opportunity to get some free attack levels. Alright, just made it through the maze. Hopefully, we can just grab this box really quick without taking any damage. Uh, and then we'll start Trino Village once I'm done with this cave. And then we'll be back on our way to doing Waterfall Quest. Okay, just made my way out of the cave. And if you're wondering why I stopped by Trino Village first, it's because um, while I'm here, the entrance is super close to the quest location for the, uh, the cave. So I decided to stop by and uh, start the quest, which unlocks Alkoi, which means I don't need to go through the maze again. 
Okay, just made a minor mistake. Turns out there's another room in that where I should have gone. So time to trek all the way through the maze again. Only it should take me maybe like five minutes. All right, Alcoy worked and I <laughs> went through that fence on pure instinct. So let's just climb down the ladder and quickly let's grab... I mean, talk to Goldroy over here so we can actually continue the quest. And went up to the river, but yeah. So, what? Did I... Am I... M missing something okay turned out that i need to bank everything that's considered a combat item from my inventory including my armor my runes and my sword so now i can enter here and start skirting over around the moss giants by boxing the skeletons because i'm pretty sure if i even get slightly glanced at i'm probably going to die and blown up into a million bits of player dust so let's quickly open this chest and wow that giant got way too close let's smack the skeleton now we think i think we get about 10 seconds of uh the moss giant not being able to target me so i'll scooch on over to here and hopefully i have oh that's another moss giant um uh, can the skeleton please hit me again please okay okay we're good now so let's search the coffin get the urn hopefully not get hit by another moss giant all right, it didn't even look at me, thank god. And now let's get out. Let's just box in our skeleton so we can get past this initial moss giant. And... Okay, no, never mind, I can just run by. All right, we're fine, we're done with this part. And now it's time to finally finish Warful. Okay, finally re-geared and actually this place is actually pretty interesting. I know I've said it before in this video, but there's spiders here, there's skeleton whites in this room we gotta go into, and there's fire giants. Hopefully I can get them for a slayer task soon, since they drop the, uh, they drop rune scimitars, they drop fire battle staffs, they drop fire runes. All of them will be super great for training later on. But for now, we can't really dream of those until we can finish this quest, so let's get past these skeletons, and wow, they hurt. I'm glad I brought meat and my armor here. Spiders hurt too, but eh, I could care less about them. Alright, now we just gotta get past these fire giants. These guys are really the reason why I brought the cooked meat. Jeez, okay, that stung. Didn't hurt as much as I thought, but okay, we're fine. Alright, let's go through here and... Okay, I'm not going to lie, I don't remember how to do this. Um, Do I, do I gotta do them in order? I, I guess? I'm just gonna put like... One of each rune, like, on here. So there's, like, water, there was air, water, earth, air. Then I guess a, I guess air, water, earth, this one, too. And then after we're done, we gotta use the amulet on, yeah, Glario. And then, that should be, the, that should be the quest, right? What the? What? What did I do wrong? Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. And I had to go on a road trip to get these earth runes again. I had to go back all the way up to Varrock, get the runes, stop on a bank on the way back to here, and... Hmm. But, oh, looks like they saved the ones that are used. Okay. Yeah, I supposed to put all three types of runes onto each pillar, not just one rune on each pillar that should be it okay so now we use the necklace on glarial okay it worked and then we have to use the urn on the chalice on the newly formed hill and there we go waterfall quest done and that will give it 32 strength and 31 attack holy moly and 20 10 combat levels and now 29 combat. Oh my god, this is such a huge boost. So that means I only need to get 11 combat levels to get to my goal of the video, Bonica. I was heading back to Lumbridge after I finished Waterfall and I got stopped by a pillory guard. Looks like I got 106 coins. Yeah, uh, I s decided to stop on here and bank all this stuff so I can head over to Trinum Village. I think I might have found a fast way to get to Trinum Village. You can, you just have to go to grouping channel, then go to fishing trawler, then I need a fishing level 15 to use it? Oh no! Well, okay, I gotta figure out a different way to use this then. Well, <laughs> this is way faster than just running all the way from Lumbridge all the way to here. Now I can just pay uh, this guy 30 coins whenever I want to get over here and it's actually way faster. 
All right, now time to actually properly do Train on Village. Okay, that is one orb retrieved. Now we just gotta put the other two down. All right, Alcoin. Okay, that was a nice teleport. Okay, so this should be fine considering I now know the safe spot. However, the only problem is that, okay, so it's that wall. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Okay. So let's go through here. And we'll just start striking him down with wind strike, which is going to be kind of annoying. But we should be able to do it. As long as I don't accidentally teleport or do anything else, we should be fine. Yeah, so that's the, there it is. So it's this line we have to do it, apparently. I brought food just in case and we have to run. Oh, we cannot run. Oh, is it not? No, it's not here. It's over there. Okay. I'm gonna walk over there, see, grab my run energy, and hopefully we can kill him. Oh my god. No! Food! Oh, did I eat? What if I. Oh my god! That made me almost run towards my whole cast or stack of runes. I'm glad I camped the magic tutor whenever I need it. Nice. So there's the orbs, and I'll quickly now run back to Alcoy. No mana and 11.45k attack XP acquired. We should get us nice. That's like three, four. That's like five levels. Two combat levels. Now we're combat level 31. Getting closer to that level 40 combat level goal. And I just realized that this is legitimately a really good necklace. 13 defense against everything that's melee. That is actually pretty huge. Okay, for my next go, I think I'm going to start fletching. I'm going to use the logs at the Lumbridge Castle, the very top floor, and use them to get until I unlock oak short bows so that I can start using the arrows I got from the Slayer Tasks for like the Mitigators and such so I can start leveling up my range. See you guys when I'm done. That is level 2 Fletchin. And that is level 3 Fletchin. Glad I caught that. <laughs> that is level 4 Fletchin. Just... And that is level 5 Fletchin. I can now make short bows, which I just realized I don't have flax. Whoa. -oh. Okay, so I'm going to put a pin in the Fletchin grind for now until I can figure out how to get flax. Instead, I think I'm going to do X marks the spot for a couple of reasons why you see it later. Oh, dang. If only I had a. Oh, crap. Can I? Okay, I th I don't know if the grimy slap. No, he just left. Oh, I had a grimy snapdragon in the bank. Oh well. What the he? What? Why is there? Okay, that is so confusing. Um, I'm gonna go with what the quest helper says, but that is so extremely strange. There's the ancient casket. So he's in Port Serum, which is right here. Thankfully, only a few seconds away from where I am right now. That is X marks the spot, and we're gonna shove this straight into Slayer. And that is not that is a level. Nice. Now I can get Banshees. But we're not gonna do that yet until we do this. And that is very luckily really close, actually. All right. Next step is. Oh, <laughs> wait. It's, it's literally right next to you. What the? Wow, that was actually pretty lucky. I just got a spin and... That is the next... Oh, that's a casket. Nice. Okay, what am I hoping here? Uh, staff. Staff of water. Staff of air. Staff, staff of air would actually probably be the best. Staff of water. Ne second next. Second best. Oh, some steel armor would be really nice. Maybe some black armor too. Oh, okay, open. 
Yes, Staff of Earth! That's not as good as I wanted, but that will auto-cast, which is a really nice bonus. And that is the natural history quiz started. Yeah, I forgot about this quest, or mini quest, but it gives you a free 1000 XP in both Slayer and Hunter, so I decided to do them while I'm here. Okay, I think that's all of them. There we go. Wow, that was a lot of Slayer levels, jeez. Two Slayer levels, almost a third, and I can now kill Cave Slimes. And Night Hunter. We are now jumping straight into a new quest, and that is Witch's House. I'm just gonna grab cheese here until I get, I think I wanna say like three or four, just in case. All right, time to start Witch's House, which is gonna be weird because I know I can save spot them. Hi, sorry to interrupt this time lapse, but I do want to acknowledge that I broke the rule of this challenge because this quest isn't required for any Slayer monster unlocks or Slayer master unlocks, and I still kill the boss without getting a Slayer task for those types of boss. So I do want to acknowledge that, and because of that, I'm gonna give myself a strike, my one and only strike, of course, and that if I ever do something like this again, if I ever strike once more, I will permanently delete this character and remake it from scratch. I apologize for breaking this purity of this challenge, and I promise you that I would do my absolute hardest to never make a mistake like this ever again. With that said, let's continue with the video. And that is Witch's House completed. So, I just realized I can't get pure essence yet, <laughs> since I only have 30 and I need 50, so that is going on the backlog, which is rather unfortunate because I could get it, however, I would need like a Minotaur's task to do it. All right, we've just arrived to the jackal spawn right next to the Alcred entrance to the desert. Yeah, these jackals, they don't, I don't think they drop a lot besides bones. So this will be a very boring task, I'm not going to lie. The only thing they have going for them is that they're, I believe they have low defense and low damage. So basically it's just an AFK task. I just gotta click every once every two minutes and just make sure to record any level ups that pop up. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next clip. And that is 18 Slayer. Oh, I just missed it. Defense level 11. And hopefully, um, that will actually increase my survi survivability a little bit because I'm getting wrecked by these dogs. Dang it, these early kills are coming in way too fast, but that's level 12 defense and level 34 combat. Just a couple more levels to go, and then we can finally unlock Vanica. Oh, I just missed another level, level 13. God, I'm always missing these levels. I just missed another defense level that was level 14 with a total level 200 now. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I keep missing these, and it's just sending me into despair. Ooh, that's the first uh, costume um, random event. Nice. If I get three of these, I can start getting lamps. Oh, I can even get flax. Uh, confirm. And we get... Beekeeper I went. All right, I'll take that and shove that into my bank chest. Level 16 defense and level 35 combat. Oh, I missed the defense level, but that is only five more combat levels to go until Vanaka. That is level 17 defense, barely flicker, and with this kill, level 19 slayer. Which I only need one more level to unlock cave slimes. That's our last kill of this task. Let's go now to Turiel and see what task we'll get now. Let's give me goblins or minotaurs. Wolves. What the? Wolves or slayer task? Okay. Good news. Turns out there's wolves at the stronghold of security. So the plan here is just to use my new earth staff to auto cast earth strike until I eventually run out of runes and then switch over to melee. That's why I brought so much food. Uh, even though I could probably safe spot them with magic. So, I'll see you guys when I get something interesting or level up. Level 19 magic. 20 magic? Okay, now I can cast bind and now wear Zertian armor. Which is going to be kind of nice once I can start killing shamans. Oh my god, I missed another one. 18 defense. I may have accidentally killed a wolf or two by accident, but uh, that's our 14th task done. Now it's time for my 15th task. Okay, my 15th task. What will it be? 
Ice Fiends. Okay, that's actually a pretty good task, especially with the new combat changes. Because of the fire runes I can get at Alcaraz. Which means I can use Fire Strike and get a, like a 50% damage increase against them. Okay, there's our first target. So, theoretically, once I take off my Iron Man armor off, theoretically, I should be able to hit like crazy damages. Especially considering Fire Strike has a base max hit of 8. Wow, that's a ton of magic XP. Oh my god, wait, how much was that? Well, that was... Jesus Christ, I just two-shot them. Wow, okay. Oh my god, these guys draw runes too. Holy crap, and they have access to a loot drop table too, or gem tra drop table. Let's see, what do I want here? Uncut sapphires would be really nice for games necklaces to get the Toriel. Clue scrolls would be really good. Oh my god, the rune spear, dragon spear would be hell awesome, but there's almost no way in chance I'm getting any of those. Even though they would be so good for upgrades right about now. <laughs> oh my god, an easy clue scroll. Wait, wait, I actually have to start, I have to stop killing these guys now. Wait, this is actually way too huge right now. Oh my god. Oh, I ran out of everyone's anyway. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Holy crap, I can't believe I got one so early. Uh, luckily, the first step was in this chest in Barbaric Village, and looks like it's a two-step at the very least. Oh, I can definitely do that. That's an easy one. It's in... Yeah, it's in the Door of Mines. I can get to that really easily from here. Yes! I got a casket! Alright, um, what am I looking at? What am I looking for? What am I looking for here? The black longsword is would be such a good upgrade. Any of the black armor would be great. Okay, I'm closing my mines. I clicked on it. Oh my god! Oh, there's a red egg. Oh, oh, air runes! I got 49 air runes. That's so good! And I got uh, trouts. The flare, the elegant legs are kind of interesting because... I think you do need, uh, I think you do, you don't, okay, you don't need them for any clue stuffs, which is, mm. but it's unique though. Oh, black pickaxe is also pretty good, I won't lie, and the air runes, definitely worth it. That was the first easy casket on the account, and while we didn't get anything I especially wanted, the air runes and black pickaxe are definitely going to be great. Also, that food I just got from the casket might be useful later on in the future too. So I just finished the Ice Fiend task and I decided for my next task, I'm going to try out a Crystalia task because I want to try my hand at Wilderness task, which can give you some pretty good loot, especially if you know where to do it right. So let's, yep, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here you go. Oh, give me a good one, please. No, no. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to plan things through. Okay, so, after a bit of thinking of what I should do, and sleeping on it, literally, I've decided that the only way I can really complete this task is to use one of the more obscure ways to get runes, and that is, that involves the, uh, the wilderness, and more specifically, here. This is gonna be a doozy. Okay, so I just uh, regained my run energy here at Ferox by going through the Soul Wars portal, and I'm going back to Edgeville because I'll be using the teleport to Edgeville, then to the lever over here. Oh, let me get a knife real quick. And then I can take this route that you see on screen from the uh, lever all the way over to the Moss Giants over here to start gathering Chaos Runes for the Hellhound task. AKA part one of my plan. Now the only problem I see with this method is that one, I'm definitely going to be running away from these moss giants a lot. And two, there could be pures out here, which is a very scary thought and actually could very much happen. But I doubt pure is going to go here and kill me when there's obviously, you know, multi, ca uh, multi cannon users. So I doubt I'm going to be killed by pures, but as a precaution, I'll hop once I get like 30 or 40 chaos runes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a very close call. I'm going to pick up like one more chaos rune to sponsor then immediately just start heading back home because that was <laughs> too close. Yeah, this multi counter just completely caught me off guard as I was hopping. So yeah, I think I would just play it safe. Holy crap, not having prayer not having prayer is really dangerous. So I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna hop over to the boneyard and start picking up bones there. And bring them back to the chaos altar. Okay, so I just picked the chaos runes I got and now I'm here at the boneyard. 
So the plan here is just to stay away from the skeletons in this one spot since there's a big bone spot in here that I could hop but there is actually another option I could do and it involves these two big bones right here. I don't think the skeletons come here that much so I'm pretty sure I could just avoid these guys. So yeah, I'm gonna get a full inventory and I'll see you guys when I start heading towards Chaos Altar. Oh yeah, a little note here I was gonna put down. Uh, there's actually a five mine rune spawn and a crossbow spawn here too, which might come in useful later on. Something cool I just wanted to record real quick. Just got my first full inventory of big bones. So the strike here is that I'm not going to die to the wine and me like other players do. That is an option, but instead what I'm going to do is just run back to the boneyard. Well, damn it, this pure just happened to log in, or I guess hop to my world right as I started my prayer training. Nothing I could have done without any overhead protections or such. Ah, uh, that's disappointing, but that's RuneScape for you. Damn, I came back thinking the Picar Maya left some big moons for me, but I think he has the loot keys on. Unfortunate, but time to go back to the boneyard. Hey, got my bones this time. Let's hopefully actually use them on the altar. I'm actually going to go around these skeletons and just go straight for the Yell's Altar. Level 17 prayer. This is going by really quickly. See, already level 18 prayer. Level 19 prayer. Level 20 prayer already. Let's see if I can get a couple more levels out of this inventory. 21 prayer. On our last bit of bones here, but that is level 22 prayer. And a combat level. Come on. Ugh. Dang it, just a couple more bones alpha from 23 prayer. But hey, we managed to unlock a lot of upgrades here in the uh, prayer department. So let's go to the boneyard and let's keep on grinding. So while I was walking towards the uh, boneyard, I actually noticed that there's some steel plate legs here in the middle of these, in the middle of this building, I guess. So I'm gonna grab these and I'm actually gonna wear them until I, uh, I either die or get bored of grinding prayer. I'll see you guys at the boneyard. All right, just got another ton of big bones. Hopefully. This will be enough to get us to level 25, hopefully. Creamer levels would be pretty nice, and I believe that would actually unlock... We'd be really close to unlocking Hawkeye, which is a really nice uh, prayer for ranging, which I do have plans for soon. Okay, just arrived at the Bone Altar, and luckily for us, uh, this guy seems to be pretty chill, luckily. Time to put my big bones here and start clicking away. Level 24 prayer, level 25 prayer, level 26 prayer, level 27 prayer. Only 10 more levels until my first overhead. All right, that was our last bone. This was a very successful trip. Five prayer levels in just one inventory and no PKers. Definitely called that a success. We also got some upgrades that I might be using later in the future. Probably don't expect it though because I'm going to go for 45 prayer anyway. So yeah, even though Mystic Lord and Hawkeye might be useful, I'm definitely going to try unlocking uh, Mystic Might and Eagle Eye as soon as possible. But for now, let's just focus on unlocking our overheads. Just got another inventory of bones. Let's see how many prayer levels this can get us. All right, and this should be level 20 prayer and total level 225. Level 29 prayer. That was the final bone for levels this trip. And we're actually going to take a break here because I do want to show you guys something I found out. And that's the Dark Warriors Fortress. See, these guys have a spawn of every single elementary rune and chaos runes, as well as some mine runes. But I do need protect from melee if I actually want to go in there without dying. So we're going to keep on grinding prayer away until we can get protect from melee, which is going to be 43 prayer. Let's get it. Level 30 prayer and combat level 38. Just two more until we can reach Vanika. 31 prayer and I can now use ultimate strength and enter the monastery. Which I'll actually be going soon to get probably the best prayer armor I can get right now, the Monk's Robe. The prayer levels are getting a little bit scarce now. I think I only went up like two levels that time. Still a lot, not gonna lie. But we we still have about six more levels to go until from our first one, Protect from Magic. And 12 more levels until Protect from Melee. Let's keep on grinding. Alright, another round of big bones. Let's see how many prayer levels this will get us. Level 33 prayer. Nice, two and a half levels, and I got 33 prayer, which is super neat because level 33 prayer, I think, yeah, I'm only one level away from incredible reflexes. All right, trip number four or five. Completely forgot which one it is. Let's see if we can hit 35 prayer this trip. Level 34 prayer. I can now use incredible reflexes, which I am gonna use right here. 
and hide this. Cool. That's all the purple melee stats, and now we are purple melee prayers. Now, all that's left it's the overheads and the purple magic and range prayer. If we're lucky, yes! Level 35 prayer. Another inventory of big bones gone in a flash. And two more levels into our second ever, our, our first ever overhead protect from magic, which I do have plans to use that at zombie pirates. You might be wondering how I get my big bones so quickly. And to that I say, it's not quick because my usual spot is over there with the two big bones almost directly next to each other. However, there's always these skeletons, like there's like two or three skeletons always next to it. So it's really difficult to actually get the big bones without taking damage. So, you might see me switch to a later spot later on in this video. Alright, another batch of big bones. Let's see what prayer level I have at the end of this inventory. Um, anyway, prayer level 36. I Does that unlock anything? I don't think so, but that is still an important level. One more level until Protect from Magic is unlocked. You know, I'm surprised that I didn't see this kind of activity earlier. Dang, that is a lot of PKers. Luckily, I'm low level enough so that they can just, well... They have no choice but to ignore me. But also, these guys also offer a kind of advantage in that other PKers, maybe low, lower level ones, won't actually want to be here because of these players. So, win-win in my books. But anyway, let's start using these bones. Okay, with this level incoming, level 37 prayer, we just unlocked our first overhead, protect from magic. Now, only 6 more levels to go until we unlock all our overheads. Level 39 prayer. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this trip. We managed to get to an overhead prayer, and we almost unlocked the next one, too. Once again, another inventory full of big bones. Let's see if we can get our next overhead. That is a peak here on top of me. Oh, please, no. What level are you? Level 78. Oh, he's a level above me! Oh, no! Oh, that could've been level 4 prayer. Nice. Oh, that could've been so bad. Okay, so I can now wear vestment stuff if I ever get those. Well, so... Oh, so, I'm a level 38 bonus, which means level 30, level 77s can hit me. But anything above that, like level 78, can't. So I just dodged losing all these big bones by a single combat level. Oh my god, that actually scared me. So, I wasn't recording, but I got 40 prayer. And I died due to the Zami wine there, so I can get back to here faster. Because of a few reasons. One... I can't teleport to last man standing from the wilderness, so I would have to go to Lumberjack anyway. Two, I want to start working on Chaos Runes now that I got Protect from Range, just to take a little bit of a break because I need to do at least like five, four or five more trips, maybe even six trips from Boneyard to, to the uh, the Chaos Hunter, which I'm not keen on doing right now. So I am just going to go back and we're going to start working on the Moss Giants, or Chaos Runes, I believe. Never mind, fake the out, we're still going on the bone grind. So if you're still wondering why I'm here, I just realized I'm only two and a half levels away from Protect from Melee, which would let me grind out Chaos Runes so much better. Not to mention, I can also grind out Elemental Runes at the same time, so it's basically a no-brainer to just power through and keep on grinding prayer. Level 41 prayer. Once again, another batch of big bones. Let's see if we can get to 43 prayer with this. Wow, this is the first, this is the first time uh, Inventory Big Bones taking me a prayer level. Zamorak did kind of screw me over. He didn't save me as nearly as much bones as I thought he would, but can't really complain since he saved me so many big bones in the past anyway. We just got another batch of big bones. Let's see if I can get level or two out of this. Please be two levels. That is 42 prayer. All right, I got my hopefully my last batch of big bones here. Let's see if we can hit 43 prayer with this. Really? A PK just came out of nowhere. He just hopped in and just killed me for all my big bones. Luckily, it didn't take me that long to get our batch of big bones. And look, there's a PK fight going out right outside the door. So, hopefully I'll be safe this time. There we go. We finally got 43 prayer with only a couple bones left. That is protect from melee. That is every single overhead I could possibly get except redemption. Which is gonna be not that helpful right now. But hey, there we go. That's 43 prayer, and that's the end of my prayer training until I want to get maybe Mystic Might or Hawkeye. So as I said before, my original plan was to go around the uh, Moss Giants here in the wilderness with Protect from Melee so I can pick up the Chaos Runes and make sure I'm prayer flicking every so once in a while. But I found a completely different way to ground Ruse so much better. Okay, something I haven't really thought about when doing this was, okay, one, there's an Ultra Chaos Ultra here. I'm not coming useful. Two, I can actually 
start farming uh that's level 55 the black knight's fortress i could technically use it i can go in here safely with protect from melee and i can just farm the runes up here here i, I need to figure out a way to lure them all out into a single room and i'm not a hundred percent sure if i can do that if i can do that within time however i can teleport out of here the good news is that the level eights will ignore me the level 145s won't so i need to be getting in and out quickly close this I need to make sure like every door is closed behind me so I don't accidentally let too many guards into one place. So this is going to be my little safe spot. Okay, never mind. That's probably going to have to be like... Okay, so I need to blow through all of these at once. And then close door. So that is level 145. Anyway. This thing keeps giving me heart attacks whenever it alerts, but so basically there's a burning amulet teleport store on here. And if whenever I tell whenever someone teleports there, my end my wilderness player alarm just goes crazy. So I'm gonna set it to 10. So it alerts me of any immediate danger instead. I am the biggest idiot alive. Okay, it turns out the NPC aggression timer doesn't run out when you don't leave the zone even after you switch worlds. I am the dumbest idiot alive oh my god what have i been doing so i got now a stockpile of runes and i want to use them at hellhounds but before that i want to get a few upgrades first not exactly an upgrade but i thought it would be important to record this that is the needle obtained on our way to our first upgrade as well as another item to grab on the way there a saw for construction training later before we finally get to our actual upgrade the black wizard hat which also has a thread spawn next to it which i will grab about 20 of beforehand but yeah this is our first magic upgrade just grab 20 thread like i said now time to go for our second upgrade and to get our second upgrade we're gonna have to complete children of the sun to get access to volumar so hopefully we can speed run this quest which shouldn't be that hard since we're just following this guy so yeah see you guys when i finish this quest Phew, I almost messed up a couple times there, but hey, we're finished with this part of the quest, now time for the easy marking part of the quest. So for those that don't know, you're tasked to mark the fake guards around the city, trying to plan a heist of Rock Castle. So you just gotta go around, mark these four fake guards, and that's it. Yeah, pretty basic quest, but... It is required to finish Volumar Bar and it gives us some free quest points, so definitely worth it. So that was every guard mark. Now it's just time to talk to this actual guard and we'll be finished with the quest. And with this bit of dialogue, we just completed Children of the Sun. Now time to head to Volumar. So a bit of dialogue with this guy and we can start taking this quest over to Volumar. So yeah, there is actually a magic upgrade here that not a lot of people know about because they can just skip ahead and just go grab it from a shop or something. But in this city, there is a very niche spawn of a single item that doesn't spawn anywhere else. After accidentally going up the wrong building and getting an accidental axe upgrade here in the corner, which will be the iron axe. And this time going up the correct building and getting an oak short bow, we finally grab our second major upgrade for the magic department, the black robes, which are the exact same as the wizard robes and will be actually pretty helpful later on because of the magic bonus. If you guys remember when I hit 40 prayer, I mentioned a very certain unlock I got, and that is the upper floor of the monastery, which here I can grab the monk's robes and bottoms, which are, I believe, my best in slot prayer gear for this entire series, which will come in helpful whenever I need to use protect from melee or any of the uh, other prayers I might use. Okay, I just grabbed so many monk's robes, but yeah, that would be definitely worth having a stockpile for maybe potential future deaths. So if you're wondering why I'm not canceling the hell on task outright, it's because of a couple of factors. One, Hellhounds have some of the best drop rate for hard clue scrolls, which will definitely be helpful. Two is there are also pretty good drop rate of Laren's keys, which actually have some of the best in slot gear for me right now. Plus, getting a ton of Slayer XP this way doesn't hurt either. We've now arrived to our destination, the Hellhound part of the Wilderness Slayer Cave. Now, oh, mysterious old man. Oh, free kebab. Nice food, I guess. Now, I'm going to try finding a safe spot here because these guys, even with Protect from Melee, 
these guys can still hit pretty hard, which I don't want to risk. So I'm going to try going up here. Hopefully I can attack them from here. There's a bandit up here, but nice, he got stuck behind the wall. The only concern I have about the bandit is that he's also pretty high level. I think it's like level 146. But can we not? Oh, we can't. Yeah, no, I don't think we, no, we can't attack them from up here. Unfortunate. Looks like I'm going to try something else then. I just got back from teleporting home, and I think I found a way to safe spot this hellhound without needing to run. And that's just to get him over here, like, uh, and uh, he for some reason loses interest with me. Every couple of minutes, or every couple of seconds for some reason. Yeah, I can just blast him, and he just cannot do a thing. And it's like the legitimately the funniest crap ever that I can just bully this poor dog. And now I got him safe spot behind his buddy. That is just hilarious. That is level 23. I can now cast War Bolt, which is really nice. And you hit a zero. Funny. Oh, level 30 hit points. Nice. Level 25 magic. Lacer teleport is really interesting. Because I don't, I'm not 100% sure where that actually aggroes, but no, it's pretty close. Somewhere important. I'm about to run out of water strikes here. Oh, I just ran out of. Okay. Time to go back and grab some more runes okay i'm back and now that i have a plan this should go a little bit a lot more help easier i didn't even know that safe spot was possible I'm not going to lie i'm considering if i should bring so the black robe only gives me like a plus three magic bonus and i'm wondering if the prayer from monk's robes would be better we only need nine more xp nice that is level 26 magic and doesn't unlock anything but that does bring us closer to level 35 which is firebolt which will give us the max hit for no 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 oh angler flesh just what i needed and with one more hit level 28 magic and a total level 250 so i wanted to show you guys how long it takes for me to do a kill on a hound and this is a pretty average clip for me ignoring the hit points and combat level i just got there it takes me usually a minute 46 seconds which doesn't also include uh the time it takes me to force to get a hellhound set up in the uh, safe spot I got here. It took me like four hellhounds to get one hellhound into the correct safe spot. So realistically, it takes me like about five minutes per kill. So no wonder why just killing the hellhounds took me like five hours to do in totality. Decided to stop by Frog's Inn Club for both rune resupply and to drop off my loot. Plus I can heal and get my prayer points back here, so would win. And that is a level 29 magic. Just six more until Firebolt. And this is Slayer level 23. Just two more levels until I unlock Cockatrice and just seven more levels until I unlock Fire Fiends. Another magic level, magic level 30. Now only five more levels until Firebolt. Once more, another magic level coming in, that is level 31. And now, if I want to, I can teleport to Lumbridge without using the home teleport. Another kill, another level, Slayer level 24. Thought I'd just note this, I got a Captain Arnov's chest random event. And after solving it, well, I was hoping for a gold bar, but I got a gold ring out of it, which isn't too bad. Especially since I need it for one beginner clue step and two easy clue steps. So yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, another magic level, magic level 33, just two more until firebolt. If you guys are wondering why I keep talking about firebolt, it's because waterbolt, because of the recent changes, scale their damage up to firebolt, but only if I unlock firebolt. Which means right now it's more efficient for me to use my mind runes than use chaos runes when I actually unlock firebolt. That is possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. That is a blighted super resource on the floor that I'm grabbing it. I don't care if this dog's gonna hit me. I got protect from melee on and I'm running out of there. That blighted super resource is so good for this, especially for the wilderness slayer cave. Definitely a drop I will 100% take. I'm running low on runes, which is pretty perfect. I was about to head back to Frog's Enclave anyway. Ow, that was a big hit. Protect from melee, please. Yeah, so I'm going to try killing this dog, this last dog, before heading back. But yeah, this trip has been pretty much a really good success. I got a bunch of Blight food, got some teleports, though I would have liked the hard clue better. And I got some, uh, I got, I think I got, yeah, I got some Revenant cave teleports here. Which might be uh, helpful later if I ever want to do Revenants or something like that. So yeah, pretty good trip overall. Just got back safely with a new batch of runes. Let's see how far these get me. Just tried to staff bash a hellhound in with my staff of earth because all my runes ran out right when this guy only had a sliver of his health. Gonna run back to Frogs and Cliff now, but damn, that sucks I didn't get a kill. Oh well.
that is level 33 magic. I don't unlock anything from that, but that's two more levels until Firebolt. Oh, that's really nice. I was supposed to, <laughs> I was supposed to log off for the night, and I just realized I just got a strength potion. That's actually really nice. That will come in handy whenever I need some strength to train with. All right, I'm gonna start scattering these vile ashes, then go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Turns out I ran out of runes, so I'm gonna go over to the Black Knight's Fortress and do the same method again. But this time, I'm only gonna grab about 200 my runes and then only focus on the Chaos, Air, and Water runes, which should hopefully speed up the progress I get these runes to finish off the Hellhounds task faster. Why 200? Well, it's because that's about the mine I need to get 35 for Fireball. See, the, with the new changes to spells, let's say Wind Strike does 1 damage and Fire Strike does 6. When you hit the level for Fire Strike, 6 damage from Fire Strike also transfers over to Wind Strike. So now they both do 6 damage along with Water Strike and Earth Strike. Alright, time to wait out the timer. I developed a new strategy to get more runes more efficiently, which is where I lock the knights in the middle room so I can get the mining chaos runes while I'm waiting out the uh, NPC aggression timer, which I think is just more efficient overall, and this way I don't have to click as much, and I can get the more important runes first. Okay, it has been over 10 minutes, so hopefully they shouldn't be aggroed on me. Oh, they're so aggroed on me, what the... Um, oh, good. Looks like Hopping Worlds fixed that issue. N looks like now I can grab all the runes I want without getting attacked now. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright, just got a bunch of runes. Let's hope this gets me to Firebolt so that I can stop collecting these my runes and finish this task faster. 33 hit points, nice. That was not the level I was expecting, but that's almost just as good. That is 34 magic, just one more level until Firebolt. And yes, food. Two body manta rays are always really nice. That's our kill down, and that's slayer level 26. Ooh, blighted crom wands. That's actually really good. Could be really helpful when I'm trying to skip peak hairs, which probably gonna die, but you never know. Another kill down, and oh my god, an uncut sapphire? Wait, that's that's actually kind of huge, because that's a games necklace right there. Which will be definitely helpful later on. But uh, for now, we can't really use it until we get our crafting up. So that's going to be in the back pocket until I can get my crafting level up. But yeah, that is really helpful in the future. And that's level 35 magic. I've now unlocked Firebolt. Which means I can now use the Chaos Runes in my bank at their max potential damage. Oh, I just noticed. That is all my mind runes used. Now it's time to go back. And uh, actually just running back would be faster at this point. <laughs> Give myself a break here and actually try out water belt i really want to see how much damage the water belt can do against hellhounds and now i finally get the chance god what a 14 and not even a max hit what i'm gonna reset per hour these two whoa okay oh my god wait <laughs> and i'm getting i think we need more exp out of this too because of the uh holy crap a 20 what 17 and that's not even a max hit 36 magic, uh, that interrupted me, only took one damage though, holy crap, whoa, the bolt spells are actually pretty good, 14 again, jeez, I'm killing these guys so fast now, it's actually almost unbelievable, yeah, I'm getting literally the double the EXP right now, is that our 17, oh my god, I was a 16, and that's death, alright, <laughs> oh my god, is there level 27, and... Uh, Revenant Cave Teleport, okay, interesting, so I'm getting 17 XP per splash I do, with just 10 XP more than Water Strike, and that is an Arc Hill, alright, ooh, are you kidding me, or 1 out of 130, I actually don't know what teleport that is either, ah yes, Carlonger Teleport, teleports me right in the Graveyard of Shadows, which is a really nice place to kill green dragons and is right next to the skeletal tome for calvion or i think that's calvion yes calvion which is gonna be a really nice boss to kill once i get a crush weapon maybe a uh dragon mace if i can get one from maybe pirate zombies yeah that boss is really good for loot overall and we're ancient ice axe can i just please get a clue score already god it's probably gonna be my last trip over here that i'm gonna start grinding out water and air runes because i'm running way too low on them hopefully i can kill them Nope, I already ran out. Okay, now it's time to grind out about 2200 more water and air runes. That's gonna be so much fun. 
All right, it is time for me to start waterboarding now. Uh, as you saw, I only got like 1100 air and water runes, but I, f I legitimately felt like I was gonna burn out if I didn't do something new. So we're back here at Hellhounds and hopefully we can hit the halfway mark on the Slayer task. 28 Slayer, 38 Magic too. Now at level 39, Crumble Undead becomes unlocked, which is a very interesting uh, little spell because that could actually help for Vorkath and maybe Barrows. 35 hit points and 41 combat nice that is a little bit scary considering the wilderness but uh it's nothing too horrible actually i think it's like around level 80 i want to start getting scared but i think i'm fine for now 28 slayer 38 magic too a very nice blighted super restore drop dude <laughs> that, i'm not gonna lie that jump scared me a little bit i thought that was a smaller you stole for a second oh my god i just thought like oh god oh my god okay come on Piss off, please. And so demon heads are rarer than the clue scroll itself. This game, man, this game just loves to just troll me. I've gotten like almost every single drop other than the stupid. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Besides the teleports, which are reasonably okay, that I'm not, that I didn't get them. That's reasonable. But, and the uh, the other rare drops. But are you kidding me? I got an insult so hellhound head before a clue scroll? That is just ridiculous. The other good news though, however, 39 magic. I can now teleport to, or no, I can cast Crumble Undead now. Oh my God. Let's just talk about the teleports too. Bro, the more I play this game, the more I want to punch something. Because what the hell? 29 Slayer. We're just getting a lot. We already killed 50 of these guys. Still no Parkloose Stroke. We haven't hit the drop rate for Larinsky, so I'm fine with that. However, I'm still miffed that we haven't gotten a single Hard Clue Scroll yet. Another kill down. Oh, finally! Yes, a Hard Clue Scroll! Can I do it? Oh my god, I can do that! Wait, okay, I am actually gonna take a break here and actually start- I can start doing this. Okay. Okay, this is perfect. Alright, time to go back to Frox. Uh, and... Uh, hopefully with none of my- Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then I died. Very luckily though, clue scrolls were kept upon death. Not in the inventory, but in your grave. Which was a huge relief because I didn't know that and freaked out for a couple of minutes. I almost got depressed until I forced myself to run back to the grave. So yeah, crisis averted. <laughs> we're fine. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a puzzle. So, please be something I can do. Yes, wait! No! Oh, I'm gonna have to research on that. Yeah, no, I don't think I can get this right now. Since I can't mine it and I can't smelt it. Yeah, this is impossible. Kind of unfortunate, but could be a lot worse. I'm not going to lie. 42 magic. I don't think that unlocks anything. Once again, ran out of runes. Time to head back to my favorite place. The Black Knight Fortress. I'll see you guys in three hours. Kind of rough. But, uh, 43 magic, that does, does that even the locking thing? Oh, I can now use superheat if I get nature runes now. Kind of niche for right now, but it could come in handy later on. Oh, wow, another account check. Nice, I'm gonna put down an agility again. Wow, I'm getting so many laughs. Oh, no! That, you've gotta be joking with me! That's the same chance as a magic shortbow scroll! Which would have been way more useful. Oh, that is upsetting. That actually really kind of blows. Not like I can do much about it. Oh, it's actually pretty nice since I can get a clue. Sc I, it doubles the chance of me getting clue scroll from monsters. So it's a 1 of 16 if I ever get a ring of wealth and I want to do Slayer task. Oh my god, a teleport. Just give me a clue scroll game. 38 hit points and 32 Slayer. I can now kill Mogers. And with this splash... 44 magic. I don't think I unlock anything. One more level until Hamlet teleport. Ain't no way I almost just died to that. What was that? God. I almost just died. Holy frick. Oh, hey, a mysterious old man. After nearly dying and getting a heart attack in real life, I definitely want... Oh, those are just coins. I mean, I guess it could be worse, but really would have liked another uncut sapphire. Oh, 45 magic, and I don't think that unlocked anything. Probably dead. 
Oh, Camelot teleports. Nice. 33 Slayer. And yeah, it looks like that was the last KC here. No, I'm not gonna get the I'm not getting any more kills with how many runes I have left. We only need 12 more, so I might just grind out like 600 water runes of each and then just leave it as it is. Alright, just grabbed all the runes I think I need to finish this task and oh, hit points level 39. That's probably gonna be our last level for this task, but who knows, maybe we can squeeze out one more magic level. Ironically, I just realized we got combat level 42. Oh, Rick Turpentine. Whoa, a cosmic talisman. Wow, I didn't think I was going to get this for a long time. This actually might be helpful because I need a ton of cosmic runes to start enchanting stuff later down the road, mainly for stuff like maybe Zenites or Games necklaces, I guess is a closer goal. I'll definitely take that. Uh, which would actually be unlocked that... Oh my god! Alaris key! Oh, whoa! Whoa, Alaris key! Let's go! With only six red kills too! Okay, I gotta go back home now. Okay, I really just want some rune. Rune armor would be so good right now. That would be so much tankiness. I'm gonna deposit this and wait until I get everything uh, on my task on. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Oh my god! <laughs> what the f- I just got a close go back to back to the Larry's key! Oh my god, I am the luckiest- Oh my god, okay. Uh, unfortunate news, that clue scroll I got from the Hellhounds contained a clue I couldn't do. See, I needed to talk to an NPC called Minor Magnus, but I can't do that unless I'm doing the quest Throne of Miscellanea, which I could do in the future, but right now it's just not feasible. Especially with Heroes Quest in the way and Fremnic Trials, which I am definitely not prepared to take. So I dropped the clue scroll in the Hellhound Cave, after I realized it was impossible, which is unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure we'll probably get more in the future anyway. It's just this one is just not a good clue scroll to put time into. And with this, I'm now magic level 46. Oh my god! What? 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 Another Lyrus key already! Holy crap! What the frick? And deposited, we're safe. Oh my god, I still can't believe we got one though. Oh my god. Okay, we only have two more kills left. Let's hurry up and finish this so we can open these learning keys. Oh, we're finally done with the task. Jesus, and I so the hell out ahead for the last, very last kill. And now, it's finally time to go to our final goal. That is... Vodka. But for right now, we're gonna go open up these two Larian's keys we just got and hopefully get some decent loot. I managed to get here pretty safely, all things considered. Uh, hopefully we can get some decent loot here. Here's the first key. Oh no! Those are Celestra seeds, which are really bad since I need 85 farming just to plant them. And our next drop is Dragon Arrow Tips. Okay, these might be useful. At the very least, they might be able to Alk for something. Oh wow, no, they barely Alk for anything. Well, that was disastrous. Not exactly the loot I wanted, but oh wow, it could not have been worse. Unfortunate, but we'll get our redemption next time we get a Laren's Key. But right now, it's time to head over to Vanika. We have arrived to Vanica, and it's time to get our first ever task room, which are going to be ogres. Okay, that's interesting. Looks like I'm going to have to grind more runes out, but at least this time I'm killing something new. So without further ado, let's get on the grind. Hello everyone, it is the next morning, and I have decided to try doing some questing. So as you know, Warning End Part 2 is part of the Plague City questline, and if we do Plague City and Biohazard, we can then unlock the ogres that are stuck in a pen, which would be perfect for magic training. So I'm gonna grab what I have in the bank for the quest, and then grab the rest as... Again, it's part of the Plague City quest, aka for the elves as well. So, I'm allowed to make the exception of getting dwell berries, buckets of water, the recipe for hangover cure, and finally, the picture of Alina. Okay, so I actually went past this, but I actually need to pick up some wheat for some grain. There you go. And that grain will be used to make pots of flowers. I'm gonna see what I can do, but first of all, here's the egg. The second of all, where's the windmill? Just gonna grab some milk from this dairy cow. Uh, go up here. I think we go to the very top. We fill the hopper with the grain. Where's the lever? Here we go. This goes down here. And yeah, there's the flour. That is a pot of flour with a bucket of milk with egg. Okay, starting the cook's assistant. And I'm ready to finish. There we go. 300 cooking XP, which is not bad at all. 
That actually brings us up a couple levels too. Spicy sauce, nice, nice, nice. And now, just gonna make a pit stop over here at Trino Village to grab some chocolate dust. Now, while I could wait for the sandwich lady to come on by and give me a chocolate bar herself, there's a possibility that could take months to take. So, I'm gonna say it's fair and actually just grab the chocolate dust from this shop. Especially since if I don't do this, I'm actually locked out of a couple quests. Ironically, they both block Slayer monsters, since the first one is Plague City, which obviously blocks Elves and Dark Beasts, and Skippy and the Mogers, which block Mogers. Has to take a quick stop to grab some runes because there's a quest boss coming up and he needs a lot of runes to take down so i'm going to spend about like an hour here to grab some more runes and then we'll be off our way to do some questing finally got all my runes now it's time to actually start the quest i gotta say captain barnaby and his boat here are very very nice quality of light updates you can go from lumbridge to arduin without the teleport really quickly compared to just walking around which was just a pain now we got a fast travel that's like a hundred times faster quick stop by the cow on the way to the quest starting location to grab some milk then we can just quickly make the hangover cure to free up a couple of inventory saves and uh, i guess a little bit of weight too also gonna stop by to grab some dwell berries also gonna grab three red vine worms while i'm here especially since i don't want to come back here if i can avoid it and after getting every single item i need it's time to start plague city so for those that don't know about this quest this quest is basically about so for those that don't know what Plague City is, the quest is a very simple one. Basically, the daughter of this man was a doctor that went into the west side of the city, which has been infected with a mysterious deadly plague. But she disappeared, which makes her parents become worried. So with you, they decided to go into the city via a underground tunnel into the sewers and get in there where we have to investigate. For a quest made so long ago, it's a really compelling storyline that I actually particularly like. It's not anything special but it has a certain charm to it well that was a short quest that is plague city done which this quest is pretty nice for a couple reasons one it gives you so much mining xp i'm already level 15 mining and two it unlocks the arduin teleport with the scroll i got here which i'm just going to use because there's no point in saving this but yeah that teleport will definitely come in handy sooner or later but for now it's time to start biohazard if it wasn't for this boat i don't think a lot of players would have even touched this quest in the early game despite the exp it gives you because you can't teleport with the chemicals in your inventory you have to walk or take boats like this over to i believe remington which is where we're heading right now because for whatever reason the teleportation magic will break them or something and considering if this boat wasn't here that would mean we would have to walk all around that little stretch of land that connects our to remington here thank god for jagex being self-aware of how annoying that would be wait wait oh my god that caught me off guard so badly wait i think i just found my best in slot range body that's biohazard done now we have access to the combat training camp i'm gonna go there right now 10 thieving as well that actually gives a really big boost now it's time to grab our stuff from the bank and head off to the training camp that reminds me we now have a new piece of armor for the range setup Along with the bronze med helm, of course. I don't want to train range since I don't have a good supply of arrows. However, magic is totally on the pay list for me. Now, if you wonder why I brought so many body runes from the Dark Warrior Fortress, it's because of the the body runes are because of the reanimation spells in Arceus. So, because I'm gonna probably gonna get a bunch of insult ogre heads from the killing I'm about to do, this will definitely help speed up my training. Nice, found the uh, found an empty spot immediately. Time to start smacking some fools. So the entire reason why I wanted to go after these orcs can be broken down into two parts. One, they're normally unaggressive, so I can just go into the gate like this. And two, with this gate in the way, they can't hurt me while I can attack them with range and magic. So as long as I'm smart, I won't take any damage at all. Plus, there's a bank somewhat nearby at the Tree Gnome Stronghold, which is a definite plus against other spots like the one near you know. And I think after the Hellhound has, I think I deserve a little break here and just sit back and relax while I get Slayer level 34. But yeah, compared to the Hellhounds, this is going to be a piece of cake. I just got a Dunce Random, which was very lucky since I only just started the Orc grind in like 10 minutes ago. I'm going to shove this into agility, and hopefully we can get more in the future. Oh, 47 magic. And I can now cast War Blast. Nice. I think I just need 57 for Death Blast. Not Death Blast, what am I saying? For Fire Blast. Dang, it's still 12 levels away though. Such a high requirement. Oh, that's interesting. That's my first insult ogre head drop from here. That's actually really nice. Gonna have to do a quick pit stop at a bank soon, but it shouldn't be that 
too bad of a problem. Whoa, that is actually incredibly rare. That is a 1 out of 176. I'm actually not that, I'm actually kind of happy at that drop because that's actually really good farming XP once I get the farming level to farm it. And if I ever hit the Renar seed drop, a monster, that's, this is like a third of the way of just getting oh there's an amulet i can make for uh, only one seed Ooh, i can definitely do something with this then gotta look into the amulet of farming or whatever but yeah that would be extremely helpful i'm actually really glad i got this though i would have maybe preferred something like a lower level for farming training but i can't really complain now can i please get a couple more insult overheads please i'll oh, talk about magic it turns out that was right oh low 40 hit points wow i got that on camera too 40 hit points pretty nice my hp is actually about to overtake prayer i just realized my inventory was full probably stop by the gnome stronghold really quick these bones are really heavy too okay let's go back to this gnome stronghold real quick and quickly we shall dump every single bone in here and grab more runes <laughs> And with this hit, that is level 48 magic. I can now teleport to Karan Castle, and I'm now level 43 combat. Dirty five Slayer, I can now kill Wobies, though I don't know why I would ever want to do that. Oh wow, a Terramin Seed. Also very interesting, since 1 of 83 drop, and that's actually a pretty low level drop as well. Definitely gonna put that up there. Okay, unfortunately I don't have enough air runes or chaos runes to continue killing the ogres, so I'll get about 500 more casts, then I'll be back. Oh my god, I just got a maze random. I can't mess this up. Okay, so... There you go. Nice. How much of the reward did I get? I think it was like something like round sunny. Oh my god. That wasn't as good as I thought, but dang. Death runes and chaos runes? That just saved me a, actually a lot of time. Just got over 750 casts of Earth Bolt. Hopefully that should be enough to finish this task. Just figured a new strat to get to the giants faster. You take the Spirit Tree from Grand Exchange and then you just get teleports right here to West Ordain. If I knew about those earlier for all my other quests and such I've been doing, I would have maybe saved like a couple hours at this point. But hey, better late than never, I suppose. 49 magic. I can now enchant Ruby Jewelry and make a Ruby Bolts E. That is a Marintel seed, interestingly enough. You absolutely, I took my eyes off for a second and I got a Kuram seed. Why? Just, just what? I mean, it'll be useful for super strength pot. You cannot be joking. That's a 1 out of 784.5 chance. What the hell game? Like, okay, you know what? I'm glad for that. That's not actually a really bad drop that since I only need farming uh 56, which is a lot lower than uh than dwarf weed or land what's a I don't remember what that, oh canatines I think are used for Saradome brews. So I guess I'll take it for now. This isn't too bad of a drop. Oh, hey, that's a very nice surprise. Another insult ogre head. That's a very nice drop, though. Insult ogre head. Though the ogre heads I'm getting, I can get some free magic and prayer XP from the ogre heads alone. 41 hit points. Just two more levels until they match the prayer level. Ooh, Jenga berry seeds. Those are interesting as well. 36 slayer. And that does not <laughs> unlock anything. Lucky with these last few kills. Just like the hellhound thing. It's like some... I wonder if it's kind of a joke that I'm just getting, like, good... I'm getting the good drops very last second. First limp words, now this. You cannot be serious. What? On the very last kill too, of course it's a snake grass seed. Okay, Crystalia didn't go well. 91 giant spiders is not what I want. So we're gonna go to Turiel and uh, hopefully skip Pask. I'm hoping this works anyway. If it does, I might just have to go kill spiders next episode, but it's it's something. Oh, and I got my first Slayer points too, with the ogres being dead now. That's very nice. Hopefully soon I can start saving up to get, of course, Malvolent Masquerade. This is probably the most important upgrade since all my monster kills will be on slayer tasks. So this is definitely a must with probably bigger and better next with and then like a boss. Those three unlocks are going to be the cornerstones of this challenge. But that doesn't mean we won't unlock anything else like ripped target ripped or maybe broader fletching. But for now, those three are going to be the ones we're aiming first. We've accomplished a lot in this episode. We managed to unlock Vanica today and get a task from him and 
Crystalia and finish them both. We've managed to get 36 attack, 33 strength, 19 defense, 5 range, 43 prayer, 49 magic, 8 fletching, 10 thieving, 41 HP, 15 mining, and 9 cook. Also 36 slayer and 9 hunter. And I thank you all for watching and I hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye!